In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let me bless your day with this daily Gospel reflection. The Gospel reading for our reflection is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the year 1854, December 8th, Pope Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. He taught the faithful, the most blessed Virgin Mary was from the first moment of her conception by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God and virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved immune from the stain of original sin. Mother Mary has an important place in the life of every believer because she played an important role in the redemption of the world. The greatness of Mother Mary is, she is immaculate and her purity was kept intact all throughout her life. She was not affected by the stain of original sin. The very words of the angel Gabriel prove this reality. She is addressed as Hail Mary, full of grace and it shows the fullness of grace present in Mother Mary. An ordinary person does not possess the fullness of grace because they are born with the stain of original sin. Mother Mary, by the mercy of God, was kept away from the stain of original sin. She is full of grace and she responded to the invitation of God without any reservation. Her holiness is noted by the Heavenly Father and she is chosen to be the mother of God's Son. She is found worthy to be the mother of the Redeemer. Mary is the favored one of the Heavenly Father. Her response to the Archangel shows her deep trust in the providence of God. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as ye have said. Mother Mary is a real servant of God. She gave herself totally to the will of God. She found joy in obeying God and in fulfilling the plan of God in her life. Mother Mary had options and dreams for her life. Mary sacrificed all her dreams and plans when she was asked for a greater mission. All of us keep our dreams wanting to fulfill the dreams of our life. When the dreams are good and wonderful, there is joy in waiting to see them come true. Mary knew her dreams are not wonderful, but dreams of passing a sword through her heart. She kept her faith alive because she believed that Almighty can do great things in her life. If we have responded to the call of God positively, He has the power to bring it into fullness. Let us pray. Lord, give us grace to respond positively to the call that You offer to us to be Your faithful servants. And I pray, may Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.